did almost have a disaster with our kale. <laughs> oh, I wrote that down. That was, I called it the kale debacle. <laughs> well, you know, when people are walking by and they're like, there's a sewer leak around here somewhere. <laughs> yeah. And it's like, I mean, they're and the electrician, the head electrician guy. He was watching it set up. He was yeah. like, what is that god awful smell? <laughs> I didn't, I mean, I didn't know. And my wife told me, man, this is like an outhouse out here. Something's up. And y'all were fixing to put it on the pit Saturday morning. I guess you opened the back. Tell me, tell me what happened to the kale. <laughs> so when we do contests, typically what I do is I wash the parsley or the kale or whatever. Let it's it decor, dry. Decor. Yeah, the decor, whatever you're using for your garnish. Let it dry. Roll it up with some paper towels and vacuum seal it. The vacuum sealing it keeps it from getting waterlogged. It typically keeps it fresher yeah. longer. It works really great for parsley. So I thought, it's going to work for kale. Evidently kale off gases. <laughs> Something we cut that vacuum seal bag open Saturday and it morning. Was like a cloud hung. <laughs> and everybody was looking at everybody else thinking they just paid it on them, you know. <laughs> it was so bad. It was rotten. And so it we were like sulfury. let's I just mean, let it air out. Let's just let it air out. And yeah. then we said, Maybe we should wash it. Let's try to wash it. And by the and about that time the electrician walked by and was like, I think we got a sewer leak. And I'm like, we can't use it. <laughs> okay, yeah. Because it, it was going in the pit with the show rib. <laughs> Can you imagine opening that up? We're talking about all this wood, charcoal and onions. We we put in this pit to get, this, you know, for the cook these perfect ribs. You open that up, and it's just like, oof, <laughs> sewage. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Raw, the, right but there. But the kale was still, like, green and fresh. Oh, it wasn't and yellow. Yeah. yeah. I didn't add it. It wasn't, I've like, never seen it do that, but it must have trapped, like, because we had it in this ice vendor, and the ice vendor is a lifesaver at Memphis. Yeah. Man. It's just like the ice machine, or... Ice box you see outside a convenience store, yeah. you can go buy a bag of ice. You can rent those at Memphis and May. We keep everything in there. It keeps our beer cold. It never freezes. It doesn't get cold enough to freeze, but it gets cold. Yeah. And that's where we keep everything. That's where the kale is. It's was, our refrigerator. Right? Yeah. yeah. It's like, yeah, we use it as a big outdoor refrigerator. Yeah. I need one of those for like the shop <laughs> <laughs> in Tenetobia. But yeah, the kale did not last. I would not recommend doing that again. Yeah, don't do it. But we, our grill looked beautiful. Emily took some parsley and decorated the board up that we put in there with the ribs on it. She's a lifesaver that yeah, morning. It did. You did the peppers, you know, sweated them out with water. I guess it sweat them or soak them? No, you soak them in yeah, cold water and it them makes them open. We made pineapples. It was beautiful, yeah. beautiful presentation. It was real nice.